All right, and welcome to the last race of the night. It is going to be Attack Slug versus uh, McGurk here. Should be a great race. The race will be starting shortly. We've just started in the race room. And we're off. So this is an interesting matchup here. They actually have kind of a, a little bit of a rivalry between the two. Uh, the rivalry is based mostly around Scramble. There's been a couple of Scramble tournaments so far. Uh, and uh, McGurk has ended up on top every, you know, every single time they've raced. And so the rivalry there is just, you know, Slug's trying to, trying to finally get that, uh, that W. And this is her best shot to do it. Uh, you know, McGurk joined the Boogie Percent Tournament this year. Normally, they're a randomizer runner, mostly Scramble. Um, but, you know, they they have tried their hand at Boogie Percent. They've put up some decent times. Uh, you know, now they're obviously they're here in the bracket stages. Uh, Slug has been doing boogie, boogie Percent for a little bit longer. Uh, but still extremely formidable. Uh, and has more experience in the matter. So it should be really interesting to see how these two... Uh, match up here. We have the most familiar meteor crash sound to every Earthbound fan in existence. And then we're going to be equipping some crack bats. So we got some some story triggers to go through. So what I want to ask is, how's the chat doing? You know, we've had a lot of Earthbound races uh, today, and uh, I just want to know. Also, I want to get like a vibe check. How's everyone doing? It's been a great night for me, I've, you know, a lot of Earthbound content to watch, been some very interesting races. Yeah, we got some fantasy brackets in the mix, Ori is talking about, you know, looking at their fantasy brackets to see how accurate they've been. I would say there's, you know, been a couple upsets so far, uh, and there's still room for more, you know, Boogie Percent is a, is a tournament that is ripe for upsets, absolutely. Yeah, I've gotten some wrong myself. And Boogie Presents are just really, in general, pretty tough to call. You know, there's, there's also there's the, the massive amount of just really, really strong runners uh, in Boogie Percent, and then there's just the RNG on top of it. There just can be some catastrophic things that, you know, even if you're the best runner their world record holder right uh you know you die in certain spots and all of a sudden you still might not end up the winner so it's just it's hard to predict 100 percent. yeah if a mod could start a prediction that would be nice uh we can get a prediction between slug and mccurk here um, but we need a moderator to, to get on that, which means a moderator needs to know how to do that, which is always the, uh, which is always the roll of the dice there. Just a last little bit of uh, story text here before we're going to be heading out up into the Onet Hill. We'll see how these runners deal with the uh, three spawns they'll be dealing with. This is where you're going to start seeing... Uh, the big difference in experience potentially end up be uh, a huge factor. You know, RNG also plays a part. Looks like McGurk's going to be the first one outside here, so we'll see what kind of spawns they get. Slug not far behind, though. Decent spawns for both of them. Slug's going to have to stutter downwards for this snake. 
uh, which you see here doing very, very well. Very nice stutters. McGurk getting a nice crow spawn here. They can actually just walk right by that crow, but they're they're a little bit uh, wary to do so. Slug doesn't like where that snake is, so she's going to despawn. This snake, I think, is in a much better spot, so she's going for the stutter on it. And very nicely done. It looked a little spooky there, but she, she gets it done. And McGurk now going to be going for the same thing. Slug just a little bit ahead, getting a nice crow spawn there. As he walked to the left, just an easy despawn. And there's the little judgment snake a little bit early there. McGurk getting a surprise dog. The snake does not want to go away. And it's getting pulled really far down. So picking up the bread roll here and then touching the bottom part of this cliff should despawn it. Uh, she ends up going to the right. McGurk stuttering all the way back. I think Slug... Okay, finally despawning the snake, but McGurk getting sent pretty far back on the hill here. Still stuttering this snake. But very nice stutters, but Slug is the first to make it to the top of the hill here. McGurk getting the same crow spawn that Slug got. Just walk to the left, despawn it, and then walk to the right. We still got some more things in the way, though. So nice little nice little lead here for Slug, but you know, it's nothing insurmountable. And yeah, great stutters from from McGurk. But from both of them, to be honest. They both had to stutter quite a bit. Gotta listen to Buzz Buzz never shut up. So as close as close as they are together right now, Slug has already picked up the bread roll. Uh, so she's actually a little bit farther ahead than it looks. McGurk still, McGurk still has to pick up the bread roll. It doesn't take like a ton of time or anything, but it's just something to factor in. <laughs> what up? I'm a beetle. Let's bounce. Yeah. What up, blood? <laughs> All right. So we got the. Star Starman Jr. You cannot lose Starman Jr. at this point, but you're hoping that uh, Buzz Buzz does enough damage in uh, two cycles, which is uh, two, you know, one cycle is two turns. Buzz Buzz is scripted to do a PS shield and then a an attack. I missed what Buzz Buzz's damage was for Slug. Got a lot of fires, which is not what you want to see. Fire is the longest. 98? Okay, 98 is decent. A lot of fires here for Slug. Unfortunately, just a regular attack there, so it's looking like it's going to be a 3 cycle for Slug. And that could be what McGurk needs to uh, even out the race here. So Slug's still the first, but McGurk, yeah, a two cycle from McGurk ends up uh, keeping this a lot closer. They're essentially tied, a Slug with a very, very tiny lead. Just to bumble apart, it seems. I see, yes. I'm joined now by Aerofram. Surprise Aerofram commentary coming in clutch. Will you Surprise. be joining me for the full race? Slightly surprised. I mean, you did tell me about it. Team Brogle. <laughs> I do love Brogue, my favorite vegetable. And the couch is fluffy, along with the sofa. Hi, Leslie. Yeah. 
I see some people in the chat just you know calling Buzz 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 Bumble, but I you know I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think that uh, Buck Bumble would let Lardna do anything then. So Buzz Buzz wishes. Buzz Buzz wishes. <laughs> Buzz Buzz wishes it could be trampled by a car. <laughs> Where are like hotkeys to be like the uh, the disc jockeys on the radio with the hot shows coming out with those things? And I think they're actually tied just based on like there's like a one second difference between their their timers right now. So I think they're just straight up tied. see how the zoo treats them. The zoo could end up being something that gives a little bit of extra time, but looks like a snake for McGurk. Does not want to stutter past it. So just a quick despawn. There's a dog. So they could have made it past that dog. You just go under. Oh, Pigpen is being <laughs> the, world's, yeah, the world's biggest jerk. He's like, no, you can't come into the treehouse. It's my treehouse. You don't know the passcode. <laughs> But Bubble does have a gun. That Buzz Buzz does not have a gun. How do you know? Because he would have used it on the store. I don't know. Buzz Buzz got defeated by Lardno, so... Yeah, if he had a Who gun, knows? that would not have happened. Maybe he just never used it because of the time continuum. Or he's well, just too that... slow. He's not Bug Bomb. Lardna has a speed of 99. Is speed Too of slow. 99. So Too like slow. Lardna is still not the fastest enemy in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Jerkbird's still on speeds. Oh uh, no, Jerkbird is slower. It's 77. It's twice. Right. 77. I know, I know. I'm having fun here. Let Master, me have fun! Miss, Master Criminal Worm is like 120 something, though. So it's like, is it really? really? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's it's find like, out. It's very, it's very high. It's in the hundreds for sure. It's Master Criminal Caterpillar. Ooh, and McGurk kind of messing up the little despawn there. It, caterpillar, Caterpillar. I spelled Caterpillar wrong. I've just had a long week at work. Someone else spell it right. There we go. 136. 136. So, so Larna has 150 speed. Oh, I see. I see. Of course. Of course. How could I? <laughs> Criminal Caliper, not far behind with 134 speed. Those are the two really? fastest enemies in the game. Surprising. Yeah. Well, because they, what they always run away from speed? 80. All forms of Gigas have 80 speed. There's actually a lot of things that are fast. Like, like Clumsy Robot is faster than Gigas. Yeah, that that I'm not surprised about. Ooh, a crit from Gurk actually ends up helping him gain the lead here. Well, Leslie, you, you got it right, so you no longer have to claim the long week. I wasn't even scheduled to commentate here, so... I mean, you joined in of your own volition, though. <laughs> can't complain. I'm a team, you can't I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a team player. I'm not complaining. <laughs> it sounded like you were complaining. No, I'm not complaining. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. You deserve some fun. Oh, I always have fun. If I'm not having fun, I will not join because I'm not here to bring down people. So we got Frank here. Frank, if he hits you, you gotta heal. That's the rule. Eric almost broke the rule, but caught themselves. Still very close between these runners. Slug's gonna have to mash here in case it's all right. Big mash. Oh, yeah, she okay. got.
having some uh, Discord issues, so. Looks like McGurk is still uh, slightly ahead. But once again, but not by much. All right, we got the uh, Discord restream back. I don't. I do. I'm sounds not privileged like enough. It just sounds like a skill issue to me, to be honest. No, it's an access issue. Chucky, I love you. You're doing great. Don't don't worry about it. I'm having fun. <laughs> Chucky's hearing everything we're saying. Yeah. I'm taking everything to heart and crying. <laughs> You know Good. Learn from it. Improve. Come beat me at the end boss. But I'm not the end boss, because Daniel's the end boss. I'm the secret end boss. That's right, RPG tropes. The stuff I come up with for filler in between dead spots. We're going to see both runners here. They're picking up the key to the shack, and then they're going to be buying burgers. I don't expect to see any burger skips. Uh, or burgerless, rather. Unless, unless someone's going crazy. Slug is not the type to go crazy, and McGurk had to use burgers on uh, Frank and Frankie's sign. They just don't have enough burgers to really go burgerless right now. Uh, and I don't think Slug would ever. 